After breathing a sigh of relief, the 58 Christian families of the Palestinian Kremizan Valley plunged into a nightmare on August the 17th, when they received an update about last Easter's decision of the Israeli Supreme Court to accept the petition against the construction of a section of the separation wall. Israeli bulldozers arrived at Bey Ona and uprooted about 50 centuries-old olive trees in order to resume building a portion of the wall. For this reason, a mass was celebrated by the Latin Patriarch Emeritus of Jerusalem, Monsignor Michel Sabah, on Sunday, August the 30th, at the Latin parish of Beit Jala in Bethlehem, to pray for peace for this suffering land. After the celebration, the Patriarch Emeritus, together with the parish priest, Father Akhtam Hijazin, and the citizens of Beit Jala, marched to the land that had been seized, carrying an icon of the Virgin Mary while singing, Lord of Peace, give peace to our land. The support of the church for the local people remains an essential aspect of this intricate legal issue. Noi siamo qui in un posto, in un sito dove le autorità israeliane hanno deciso di We live in a place, a site where the Israeli authorities decided to continue building the separation wall. They say that these lands belong to them to the Israeli people. And we say that in spite of all their decisions, the land belongs to the Palestinians. The landowners remain here despite all the unjust decisions. And in spite of power, law and violence, the land belongs to its owners, the people of Beit Jala, namely the Palestinians who live here. Il terreno rimane al suo proprietario, cioè alla gente di Becciada, cioè ai palestinesi che sono qui. This remains a wound for the local Christians who are witnessing their farmland being snatched away from them. We came here to say that we have roots in this land and that we defend our land and will redeem it with our prayers. They have uprooted olive trees that were 2,000 years old, planted at the time of Christ. They want to eradicate our Palestinian roots from this land. However, today we came to proclaim that we are staying. This complicated matter has been adopted by the local church, which every Friday over the past few years has celebrated mass under the olive trees of the valley to pray for a stop to the building of the wall. They have raised a double wall, a wall on the ground and one in their hearts. One day the wall in their hearts will crumble and the wall on the ground will collapse too. Meantime, we wait, relying on God.